Hello, did you know that Cisco built a UCS management pack for VMware vRealize Operations Manager? Let's take a look at the capabilities of the plugin. Viewing UCS Inventory in VROps As soon as Cisco UCS plugin is installed, a couple of UCS domains are added and data is getting received from them. In the Environment Overview, a new VROps resource called UCS Domains get created. Now each of these domains can be expanded to view the constituent components that make up the domain, which includes the service profile that are attached, as well as the ports of the switches. Viewing UCS Health and Alerts the false in UCS Manager is translated to alerts in VROps. The UCSM alert is color-coded by severity and the alert information shows which object is affected. Cisco UCS product knowledge is also incorporated in the alert recommendations. The risk badge in VROps populates potential future issues from UCS Manager. Similar to Health Badge, Cisco recommended actions from UCS product knowledge is included in the risk alert as well. Viewing UCS and ESXi correlations. The UCS domain 3 on chassis 2 Blade 5 hosts a ESXi. As soon as I expand the service profile associated with the blade, I can see the ESXi host as well as the VMs and data store that reside on it. When a running VM is selected, the corresponding health and risk badges get populated with the current alerts on the VM. Drilling into the health alert, one can tell that the VM is running out of disk space. It is using more than 95% of its allocated guest file system space. Viewing UCS dashboards in VROps. Home, dashboard list, UCSM adapter dashboards gives a full list of the dashboards that are included by default in the UCS management pack. The UCSM overview dashboard contains a number of widgets, including registered UCS domains, heat map of UCSM objects sized by risk and colored by health, UCS domain relationship, UCS alerts, top 10 chassis by consumed power, top 10 blades by consumed power, and so on. The UCS health tree dashboard provides a mapping from physical all the way to virtual infrastructure. The FI Traffic Statistics Dashboard provides a set of key performance indicators for a server port in this case. Graphs can then be generated on selected metrics. Once a graph is generated for a particular server port, it can then be pinned and compared against metrics from another server port in the same or different FI. Similar metrics and graphs can be generated using Power and Temperature Summary Dashboard as well as Server Motherboard Statistics Dashboard. These are all included in the Management Pack by default. This concludes the feature overview for UCS Management Pack for VR Ops. Thank you for watching.